We are who we are. There's no denying it. Your destiny. We are who we are. And our destiny cannot be changed. Our destiny can be delayed. But eventually, destiny is fulfilled. Hello everyone, I am Michael and I help guide people on the evolutionary journey. We are who we are. And it can never be denied. Your essence, who you are inside, your highest version of yourself, it could never be denied. Your destiny, what you're here to do. Many of you are getting this message. You know that you came here for a purpose. You might be on your path figuring out that purpose, but deep inside of you, you know what your purpose is and it cannot be denied. You know this through resonance. Your heart feels a certain way. You know certain things. You are who you are. And who you are at your core can never be denied. Destiny could be delayed. Your attention could be distracted. And you might just want an easier path. But we are who we are. A lion is a lion, it will always be a lion. A mouse is a mouse, it will always be a mouse. We are who we are. And what we're called to do, we know within our innate what we are called to do. No one else can tell us. People on your journey, they might doubt you. People on your journey, they might talk you out of it because you're here for greatness. You're here to do great things. And you're here to do things that nobody else can do. You have no fear. There's nothing that the matrix can hold over you. That's why it's your destiny to do it. And now it's time for destiny to be fulfilled. You know, over the years, I knew that something was terribly wrong. I seen it since I was a boy. And there's something inside that you just never could let it go. You might be getting this message and there's things on your journey. You know it's wrong. You could never let it go. For many years, this is wrong. And what could we do about it? You never fell for certain things. And while you never fell for certain traps, certain pitfalls, watching your brothers or sisters suffering, you knew that there was something that you came here to do. Even though no one else has done it before, even though that no one else even showed that there was a possibility of it being done, but you knew that you could get the job done. You knew that you could do things that nobody else can do. With great power comes great responsibility. And as I speak to God, I know my responsibility. And God will not allow us to ever rest until we embrace who we truthfully are at our core. The funny thing about me, authentically, I just wanted to be a kid. I just wanted to have fun, full of love, right? Have some fun, love. But the strongest of the strong, oh, they'll never be left alone. They'll never be left alone. You might be getting this message and there might be something on your journey. You just, you never were left alone. You never were able to just embrace the the child, the child that was inside of you. 
You just wanted to be a kid. You just wanted to have fun. You just wanted to enjoy our playground. The earth is our playground. Do you like my playground, Light Warriors? <laughs> now I have all the stones. Once you have all the stones, once you have collected everything that you possibly could use on your journey, now you know that it's time. Now you know that it's time to embrace who you came here to be. Regardless of the distractions, regardless what comes your way, you will get the job done and we get the job done today. We have to embrace who we are. For many years, I've seen, I've seen my brothers suffering. I've seen things that didn't make sense and I knew that there was something that I needed to do with my time here. I've watched my fallen men. I've listened to my fallen men. And I'm out here in the light of Christ to let you all know that I would never leave you behind. Even if I had to plunge myself down here, even if I had to walk this on the ground, I will walk the line with each and every one of you. Over my lifespan, I have heard each and every one of your stories. And I hold those stories in the sacred heart. And I've collected those stories and I've collected all of the experiences of my brothers, my fallen men, because true leaders, they stand on the ground with their men. They don't leave their men behind. It's real easy, it's real easy to escape things and just go off and just have an easy existence. Just easy, nice and easy. But sometimes we have to do the hard thing. Sometimes we have to walk the line as a true leader walk the line of our men, women, children, light warriors, whoever they might be. But many warriors, they've had a tough time in this incarnation. They had a tough time down here. And there are certain things that I knew that it needed to be done and God will never allow me to not embrace the highest version of myself. I know it. It's real easy to just be joyous, just hang out, do the easy thing. But some of us have to do the hard thing because nobody else will do it. You will be inspired on your journey. Any person can get this message today. Man, woman, child, galactic being, indigo, starseed, angel, archangel. Anyone can get this message. And you know that there's something that you need to do. But on my journey, I know what needs to be done. And how I know what needs to be done as I sat alone with God, as I took my life experiences, as I've witnessed my fallen men, I would never leave my men behind. You know it. I know it. We've all known it. We've been doing this for all eternity. It's about glory. It's about legacy. Builders build, teachers teach, leaders lead, and activators activate. We have to do what we're called to do. And there could be 
Great spookables out there. Great demons out there. Great two-headed dragons out there. Many things that go bump in the night trying to get you to not do what you're supposed to do. But that's why I'm the best there is at what I do. And I will never leave my men behind. And I know what I need to do for this incarnation. We don't do the easy thing. We do the hard thing. And it's good that it's hard because nobody else will do it. So you will be inspired on your journey to do what needs to be done. I walk the line side by side with my brothers. I plunge myself into the experience so I could learn it, live it, and be able to defeat it and activate all of you. We all have a mission in life. We all have a destiny in life. And this is destiny fulfilled. Get up, men. Get up. High Commander is here. Now we move forward. Dear ones, I am Michael, the activator of the Divine Masculine. I know you're tired. Get up, son. We walk the line together. It's time for you to remember who you are. You've been beaten down. I know you're tired, but it's time to rise. It's time to remember who you are and have the inexhaustible belief in yourself. We are who we are, and it can never be denied. Michael is here. And absolutely nothing can stop this. Remember who you are. Know that I'm here and know that you're ready. We're all ready. It's time for the warriors. It's time for the soul sisters of the violet flame. You know who I am. It's time, brothers and sisters. It's time to get the band back together. It's time for rem remembrance. It's time for our brothers to remember who they are. Not everyone remembers who they are their entire life. Know it as a blessing. If you remember who you were your entire life, know it as a blessing. You are sealed in the forehead. 144. Write it down, kid. Never forget it. We are who we are. Now we move forward. Now we know what needs to be done because absolutely nothing will get in our way now. The light of Christ has returned. We're out here in the light of Christ to speak the truth. And our men have been beaten down, broken. All the stories, all my life, I've seen what was wrong. And now it's time to fix what is wrong. And it starts with you remembering who you are, divine masculine. I'm here on the front line. I would never leave my men behind. High Commander is on the ground. I am the defender of our everyday lives. No matter what comes your way, Light Warriors, just keep going. Balance as everything needs to be. It's been out of balance. Now, let's balance it out. Remember who you are. The divine masculine is here, and it's here to stay.
take the journey. Let's move forward. We have many quests to go on. Are you ready?